lost my tooth. <laughs> it's a koala. I just thought I'd go for a roll. <laughs> it's a panda. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> We're making scrambled eggs. You need my helper? Yep. Should we get a bowl? Dad, remember we walked on eggs and you cracked them? I do remember walking on eggs. That was crazy. <laughs> Cooking is super fun. Oh, he didn't get any shells in there. Try to keep it in the bowl, okay, Laura? We're gonna add some peppers. I'm gonna soon be learning how to bake this myself. Looks pretty good right now. So we have big plans this morning. We're headed to the San Diego Zoo, and I wanna make sure the kids have a hearty breakfast so they're not hungry right away. Well, I felt silly packing my blender, but I've used it every day and been so grateful to have it here. Another day, another smoothie. So you've been having this sourdough bread for toast and poll question, do you like sourdough bread? Kendra and I love it. How about you guys, who likes the toast? Mm, it's okay. Mm, okay? I don't like it that much, but it's fine. Thanks for eating it anyway. Yeah, I like it. So they're not dirty. Let's take them back. It's really important for us when we go somewhere that the kids can still have creative play. So Lise, what are you doing? Um, I'm doing my piano practice. Um, on an iPad? Yeah. How does that work? There's songs that I can do. I'm at level three and I'm trying to get it to the very next thing. Ooh, okay, show us how you doing. Piano practice on vacation without a piano. The kids' piano teacher has this special app and she gives them assignments through it. And so the kids are able to do this. So we're driving to the San Diego Zoo today and Isaac just noticed the coolest thing about our car. Check it out. It not only shows us the directions of where we're driving, but it shows us the speed limit. For a long time, I've said that that would be an obvious thing to put on an app that would be really helpful, and they've done it. Thank you. Because when you're in a new place, you don't know what the speed limit is all the time, so here it is right in front of us. It just changed. It did, it just changed, so now the speed limit's 45. I love cool inventions like that. They make life easier, especially when you're traveling and in new places. So we're looking for a parking spot, and we drove past this car. And the truck's open, so we were assuming people around it. We just kept driving, and then I looked back, and there's no people anywhere around the car. So it's one of those situations, like, I don't know what to do, but it's kind of drizzling. I think we're gonna shut the trunk. Yeah. Because I would feel bad if they left it open. I mean, it looks like it was left open on accident. I would typically do that, too. You just, the only nervousness is they were like, left it open on purpose. They just went to go grab something, and but now we locked them in. But the chances of that- trunk open on purpose? The chances of it, us messing something up are much lower than us helping yeah. them out, so. Okay, we're gonna do it. So all my life, I've heard about the San Diego Zoo. It's kind of a world famous place. And you guys get to come check it out with us. I'm so curious. What makes it so special? We'll see. I think there'll be animals there. <laughs> so I think this is Janae's first time at a zoo. Hi! Animals! <laughs> Oh, little nervous. Hi. Hi, orangutans. You guys, look. He's just rolling along. Look. I just thought I'd go for a roll. Some people go for a stroll. He's going for a roll. I share a birthday with one of the orangutans. You and Karen are birthday buddies. I'm a little older. Look, these two. 
have been a couple since 1987. They've had seven kids together. That's so cool. So Karen is the orangutan that shares a birthday with Kendra. Apparently she had open heart surgery and is the first orangutan to have ever had that. Two years ago. And she's the one rolling she's around. she's the one rolling around. Hi Karen. Isaac is an orangutan. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Little kisses. They're sharing food, how adorable. Oh, never mind. So we're at a part of the zoo where the birds just roam freely. Last time we were in a bird cage, a bird landed on my head. Yeah. And I was freaked out. That was the coolest thing. Do you, Do you see, see birds? Bird? You guys, there's a hippo. It looks like a seal. Don't tap on the windows or yell that they have the monkeys, the hippos, and the fish in the same enclosure. This way. What is going on? They sense danger from Duncan. Huh? What? <laughs> she loves the fish! Where is it? So I thought I was going to love the zoo seeing all the animals, but watching Janae thus far has been the most magical part of the zoo. Do you see the fish? <laughs> Fishies! Good job holding hands, girls. The elevator's broken. The problem is we're gonna have to go back up, I think. Uh-oh. Where are we headed next, girls? To the restaurant. To eat lunch. What'd you find? Albert Jess. Let's Albert do it. Albert So the zoo had a place for us to come and eat some lunch. <laughs> and a bouncy baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Janae has been having so much fun with Duncan. How close in age? I mean, it's like a month or two? It's like two months. Two months. Two months? So what happened? I lost my tooth. Yeah. Right here, look. Give it us that smile. One. Pretty soon she's got nothing to eat with. So that one that's left, that's a baby tooth, right? Yeah. Is it wiggly? Kind of. Soon you're gonna have nothing. <laughs> it's wiggly. I have another loose tooth. Kendra, there's an anteater. It's got such a pointy nose. They're endangered. They're endangered means that there's not many of them left. Oh. Yeah. Does that mean some of them died? Mm -hmm. Some of them died. So when we arrived at the zoo this morning, we looked at the zoo map and we made a plan and we said, we're gonna go to the polar bears first thing. We just arrived at the polar bears. It's like three o'clock. Ooh, that is trying to die. <laughs> Two, three. There they are. Hey, Laura, do you wanna know what you're gonna see next? What? Reindeer. He can't see, he's in a cage. Say hi. Ah. Isaac, what is it? It's a panda.
it's funny on this trip because out of nowhere, suddenly the conga line happens again and it just keeps happening over and over again. Happening in height and age order? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're perfectly lined up. They're very organized. Uh oh, there's a break off. We did not do anything. No coaching. It's not like a parent involved. <laughs> this is completely them. It just happens. We're going on a potty run. Freeze tag, I'm in. Run, Caleb, run! Poor Janae has not napped at all. She's liking the animals and she's being a good sport about it, but I can tell she's getting tired. It's hard being the youngest baby, huh? We went to the bathroom. Success. It had to be down the hill and then up the hill. Good workout. Woo! What's a koala? A koala bear? It's these fluffy bears that climb in trees and sleep. They're little. So what's been your favorite part of the zoo so far? I don't know. I like all of it. I thought losing your tooth was pretty cool. Yeah. Cub, did you have a favorite animal we've seen so far? Leopard. The leopard? I liked when the koala was on the back and I also liked the um, leopards. Should we do the zip line? Yeah. The sky safari? We're going up! Are we up in the air? Yeah. Are we good? There they are, up there, the Ballingers. Hi, Ballingers! So we decided to do the sky farm. This is so cool. There's mom and the girls. Look at that airplane, you guys. Good job, big girl. What did you think? I liked it. So we're trying to go on the Sky Safari again, and Laura doesn't want to go with Jeremy, and I was talking to her about it, like why, and why don't you go with Daddy? Because I won't break. She's worried that Jeremy's gonna break it. Why? Because he's so heavy. Because I'm so heavy. I'm so heavy, I'm gonna break the Sky Safari. Beautiful. You can see all kids are fascinated. They've never seen a caricature being drawn before, and they've been watching the whole process from the beginning. It's really cool. If he drew me, my teeth would look crazy. All right, let's see that grin again. Well, I think we're done at the zoo. The kids had a fun time, and we're gonna have fun. So Caleb and Parker are putting on some sort of a gymnastics routine here. Yay! Good job. I think we successfully tired the kids out. I know we successfully tired me out. So it's home to dinner and bedtime. Good night. Jay us out. Well, we love our rental house, but we are having one issue with it. So we're at a museum with the Ballingers. 